you join us now as we walk through Pooley Nature Reserve. We're going to see the landmark, the 12 metre high landmark sculpture on the site of the former Pooley Hall colliery. It's actually visible from the M42. Now this artwork takes profile of a birch leaf with one stacked on top of another and the structure was cast in aluminium before being gilded into gold. The coal was mined here at Pooley for well over a hundred years and was formed during the Jurassic period when millions of years of organic growth and decay was compressed into the seams of coal that were extracted and helped fuel the industrial development of Britain. The gold leaves apparently refer to these different periods of plant activity and huge economies that grew and the excavation of the buried sunlight. Birch trees are shallow rooting trees so they are able to cope with the toxicities in the soil. This eye-catching sculpture was installed in 2011 on top of the mound of colliery waste to become the centrepiece of the country park. Entry on foot, it says. No, no, it's meant for bikes only. You can't go down it. <laughs> That was hard work, I've got to tell you. Not good news in the bedroom, then. It's not the first time I've said that. Yeah, all right, you're funny, aren't you? No, it's so... Uh, what's the problem? So I had my clothes kind of just shoved in here, really, mm. if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, and I've pulled out about seven to ten little tops. Mm. that have all got um, like mould growing on them where they were obviously catching the back wall yeah. it's very wet not wet, it's just damp in yeah. here I had these and these are full up with water so I need to get some more of those that will help and put them in the cupboards maybe yeah Yeah. so I've, I've re-sorted this one back yeah. out Yeah. if I remember rightly that's goes right away from the wall if I remember rightly that's how neat it was when you first set it all yeah. up and then uh you know it's like once it all comes out of the washing machine, dries, and then you put it away. I need like little. I do try and keep them open, but try and maybe during the day mm. just to keep them open a bit. Let I think your husband, flow. your husband's done a good job there. They actually close. I should have done a bit of a bodgy number where they don't close properly. Is that what you mean? Yeah, they do close. Really beautiful around here. Just taking Ernie for a quick walk. in something I don't know what he's smelling hopefully the way home because I don't actually know where we are <laughs> I have no idea what direction the boat is and my maps aren't working because there's no signal brilliant just keep going shall we Anne's should we keep going <laughs> So I've just come, I've just come back from moving the car. In between bridge 53 and 54, there's quite a few puddles, <laughs> and the bank's sloped. So I've gone arse over tip basically. But ended up with my feet in the puddle, with laying flat on flat on my side. Pull myself together, get up, walk along about another 20 <laughs> yards, get, atta get attacked by two geese. <laughs> Or goose or geese. What, those white geese. So one, yeah, so one the white of the, ones. The white ones with the big thick <laughs> beaks. So one goose attacks me leg, actually bites me leg. And then I look up and there's, there's a bloke about 20 yards ahead of me walking his dog towards me, laughing his head off. <laughs> so he saw the whole thing, the falling over, the duck. The, oh, God, darling. Oh, mind you, that's the first time I've fallen over since we've been doing it. 
Yeah, so we had Ernie go in the canal last yeah. week, the week yeah. before, wasn't it? And now yeah, you've fallen over. Like, I yeah. fell over, but nobody was around to see me do that. Yeah. And that was in summer. Yeah, I know. Fell on my bum by a lock. Never mind. But Never mind. hey-ho. It's raining yeah. now quite heavily. Miserable day. Yeah. Good morning. It is a good morning. What do we notice? Blue skies. What do we notice? Oh. Talking to them. Right. <laughs> good morning. What do we notice? Blue skies. All right. Blue skies isn't the right thing to say, apparently. <laughs> good morning. What do we notice? No, I haven't done my hair. No. What do we notice? No coat. No coat. And the sun's out. And the sun's out. Yes, come on. Blue skies. <laughs> anyway, today we're just poodling down. Poodling, very good. It's up. Considering where we are. We're in Pooley. Pooley Country we're Park. We're in Pooley Nature Reserve. Because we need to go into Alvecott Marina, which is literally two hops up there, um, next week. Um, just for the weekend, because we're returning home. But Ooh. we've got a bit itchy tiller again. We need no. to move. We've yeah. still got another week. So we're just going to probably cruise up to Faisley Junction and turn around and use that and come back to the marina and use that as our travel time. So it's we're going to do a little bit of that journey today up towards yeah. Faisley. It's been, a, it's been a lovely morning here. Uh, we've had four nights, which is about, it's about sort of itchy tiller time, four nights to be honest with you, no matter where we are really. Um, but it's just been magnificent. The walks we've been out of taking early on. Uh, we've had some lovely adventures and that. Um, and the so, rain yeah. has come, so um, yeah. we've had a few days indoors. That's probably why we've yeah. got itchy tiller now. Now the sun's shining. Yeah, yeah. You are, you, also, you are a little bit restricted uh, shop-wise. It seems to be like a 40-minute walk or whatever just to get to a shop. So you are a bit restricted on that side and we've just run out of food. So time to move as well for that reason. <laughs> so. All right, hope you enjoy this trip. We got a message from um couple on two peas in a pod this morning because they did the same journey they, they were behind us and uh, they did warn us that there's a couple of fallen trees up here so we will see but that was really lovely of them to message us yeah. and let us know So just up here on the left is Alvecott Alf Marina, where we are putting the boats. As you can see, it wasn't that far away from where we are. So rather than just stay put for another week, we're just gonna cruise around and turn around and come back to it. Working boats there. Yeah, it, it, I think this is um, 
known for its boats working boats in here. You've got a lot to say today, haven't you? No. Look how thin the, now, the uh, jetties are. <laughs> I can see a few, few incidents happening there. <laughs> they did diesel so we're just stopping for diesel it's been a while since we last filled up so diesel done yes how many 38 litres 38 so litres right 46 pounds Found our first little mooring spot just here until tomorrow. We need to check that the locks have opened because they've been shut. Where's Bernie? There he is. Hello, Bernie. How you doing, boy? Oh, so cute. See that sun shining on Paul's face? Have a look. Oh, it's gone down now to 8.20. We were literally just pulling in. Let me connect. Hang on, hang on. 900. It's going to show you in a minute. 900. Look, 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 look at the watts we're pulling in. What's it gone to? 1,083, 1,094 watts. On the solar panels. Brilliant. I've angled Abs them up facing the sun. Yeah, absolutely That's brilliant. Oh, the sun's gone in, gone in now. Gone in. <laughs> the clouds just come over. That. <laughs> you don't expect hole. that in, in uh, February, yeah. do you? Boat coming fast <laughs> as well. Are you in prison? Do you want me to come and visit you, Ernie? Hey, mm. what have you done wrong this time? <laughs> I told you to leave, leave the other girly dogs alone. <laughs> Are they looking after you? <laughs> Morning. Morning. Second day then, going to cruise again towards Faisley Junction. Yes, look at that blue sky behind us. Sun's out, it's going to be a glorious cruise. Well, fingers crossed, eh? Nothing goes wrong or anything. <laughs> you need to get your coat on, Ernie. It's a bit colder today, definitely coats today. But like Paul said yesterday, those guys. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> is that a dog just jumped in up there? Guys, cutting the tree down. When I saw a big branch falling, well, I you didn't. You actually went, Oh, there's a dog in yeah, there. Yeah, I actually thought it was, it was a dog a jumped in, but it's actually a branch when we got a bit you know here. Those dogs that look. look like little sticks, <laughs> you know, them dogs. <laughs> well, there's a couple of bars up here. Bars? People have built in their gardens. Oh, right, okay. And they've got their names facing the canal. We, we saw them yesterday. Being Ernst. What a lovely old willow. 
Yeah. The staggering. The staggering. <laughs> See that because yeah, of the sunlight and to keep up with the Joan, Joneses, there's another bar coming up, which has also got the name facing the canal. Oh, this one, the bar. There we go. The barge in. <laughs> That's quite good. The barge in. There's a Tesco Express at Bridge 66, so we're going to pull over where that runner is now. Just grab some milk. before we carry on. Anything you want special from Tesco, Zerny? Yeah, you need food. Huh? Food? And buy his own food. <laughs> right, won't be long then. dog opposite the canal, there's a dog in the house opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where are we? Fancy dog home, is it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Danny, that's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Just approaching Glasscott's locks, there's two of them. And this here is Glasscott Boatyard Basin. Right, I need to get off and do these locks then. Two locks, why no, are you sitting there? They were really hard locks. Glass coat locks are really tough and really heavy, and they uh, shut them for a day, two days to repair them. I'm entirely convinced that repair has happened because they are horrible. 
I do, I do feel for you. We've only got to do it again when we turn round, you know. Not a problem. Yeah, we'll be going, going up, so going maybe up. I can do it. Mm -hmm. 73, this is Bowl Hall. Is it? Bowl Hall, so they're the... Oh no. They're the two lots we just done, but that's Bridge 73. Oh, it must be 73 C. So we're now here, so... Go along to here, use this as a turnaround point. Tamworth Cruising Club. Oh, yes. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> Do you think it's posh? No. It might be. It's people that enjoy cruising, I'm just saying. Could be posh, couldn't it? What do you think, Ernst? Rubbish! <laughs> <laughs> See the dots on the towpath here? See them. That, that indicates that the towpath's on that side. When they're big dots, uh, big circles like that, it means the towpath's in good condition. So you can see it's good, good, good until you get here where it's smaller. So their version of good condition is like when it's gravelled like that. Well, what is, what's that called? It's not gravel, it's like is a it? Sort of gravel, isn't it? Gravelly kind of. So that's solid gravel. That's another thing to sort of look out for. That's a proper family effort, that was. They found all that in the canal, have they? That magnet it's machine. It's all, all come out of the canal, that metal. Just going to have a tea break. Gonna have a tea break. Yes, tea, well, coffee break. Nice tea break, wasn't it? A quick tea break. Well. About a quarter of an hour. Yeah. How long does it take to drink a cup of tea? On their way again. That's going back to my working days, that is. Cup of tea on the go and sit Well, you have to. You drank about 28 cups yeah. of tea today. <laughs> yeah, sit down for about <laughs> 10 minutes, drink your tea, up, or drink it on the go. <laughs> That's how it used to be, yeah. <laughs> Better put these on, I suppose. Do you say something about trying the locks as well? You're going to do a lock and I'll... Sorry, I'm going to do locks and you're going to have a go. I might do the locks. Yeah. Because it's going up, but they're tough. I don't know if you can operate those locks. Oh, you're funny, isn't Not it? Not your first locks. They're quite hard. Ah, oh, come on. We'll give it a go, eh? We'll like see. you say, going up, you haven't got to worry about the seal, so... Probably a good opportunity, isn't it? Two locks in a row. They're not the easiest of locks, though, so... Ah, uh, well... And there's quite... There's lots of houses overlooking if you were to do something wrong. Oh, right. If I were to do yeah, something wrong. Yeah. Well, I'm really worried. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, really funny bridge. And it's still not finished because it's quite a sharp bend when you come out as well. That was that had me worried that did, to be fair, if I'm honest. <laughs> 75 A. Eh? Liz was worried. <laughs> Yeah, talk us through it. You've done it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I did it's all panic about, a bit. It's all about overcoming your fears, isn't it? Well, I did slow it right down, to be fair. Up here we have uh, the aqueduct over the River Tame, which I believe parts of it are in flood, which doesn't surprise me because we've had so much rain. So much rain. Oh, it's got quite a flow on that. See what I'm doing. Oh, what's it? That's... From the war days, would you say? Faisley Junction. Faisley Junction. Faisley Junction. So we're at Paisley about to turn around, or do we?
have to find out next week. We might not turn down. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, hit a bell, all that sort of stuff. Bye. Slightly <laughs> muddy paws. He's just been for a long, long walk. Catch and you later. We're in need of a cup of tea. So catch, catch you later. Next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>